Good morning. It's Tuesday, December 20th, 2022. I'm Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for today's journey. Our devotion today is entitled, When Power Makes You Nervous, and our scripture is Proverbs chapter 29, where Solomon writes, When people do not accept divine guidance, they run wild, but whoever obeys the law is joyful. I must admit that I have never understood the obsession underlying power. Personally, it's always made me quite nervous to be in the company of those who wield the kind of strength of presidents, governors, and other influential positions. Those who lead bear a considerable weight of responsibility for the well-being of others. It's an inherently unselfish calling. The fly in the ointment of the democratic system of choosing leaders who are perceived as strong enough to do well is that politics is a magnet for the best and worst of motives. In an article reflecting on the state of world affairs, published earlier this year by Princeton University professor Jonathan Gold, calling for, at a minimum, mandatory psychological testing of candidates for public office, Gold trotted out the elephant in the rebel room concerning the two most powerful leaders who should never have been elected by sane people. Quote, at the extreme end of the scale are the symptoms associated with antisocial personality disorder, ASPD, which ought to be out of bounds for an elected official, but read to the untrained like a character description of Donald Trump or Vladimir Putin. End of quote. This devotional blog is not a blatant political tool, rather a purveyor of godly advice from the scriptures. What Solomon said about God's guidance as the life-giving need for any nation is precisely what leaders Putin and Trump ignore in favor of ascribing all knowledge and power to their own imaginations. It is often quoted that power corrupts and absolute power corrupts absolutely. And if that is true, it removes, by definition, any hope of governance without corruption. The lone exemption is the one true living God. For you today, if your children and grandchildren are the hope of the next generation of leaders for this world, better teach them, by example, to be humble and honor God. Otherwise, those who live in those generations and beyond are going to be bound to the same human foolishness of the current times, thinking we have all the answers, yet having no vision at all. You chew on that as you hit the rocky road. Have a blessed day.